Hey, what's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here. And today on Lunchtime with my Gear VR, man, I am so excited. So, just got a little present in my office a few minutes ago. That's right. I now have the Gear VR controller to make my Gear VR experience complete. And I am chomping at the bit to get this box opened, pair it up, and check out some gameplay. So, let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and get this box opened and see what there is to see. So, grab my handy dandy scissors from my desk here. And first incision. Probably should have had an exacto knife or a knife for this, but all right, there we go. And. Ah, it is open. So first and foremost, man, I gotta say, much smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Um, you know, after playing with uh, the Vive Wands and the uh, Oculus Touch, I really figured this thing would be bigger, but it is like super small and super lightweight. All right, so let's see what else is in the box here. So it looks like we've got the uh, headband strap, so that way we can attach it to the headband of the Gear VR when not in use. Uh, got a little wrist strap here. I don't want that thing to go flying out. Some batteries and a quick start guide. So pretty basic package, but man, glad to have it. So all right, I'm going to go ahead and throw the batteries in. We're going to go ahead and get it paired and try out some gameplay. All right, here we are, and there's the new controller, and man, am I excited to get into a game and check this out. So I went ahead and I downloaded a few different ones, like SWAT Academy, Dead and Berry, Rangi, you know, so haven't really figured out what I want to play first. Uh, I was going to kind of post it to you guys and see what you might want me to play, but yeah, I didn't want to waste time on it. I just really wanted to get in here and check it out. So, you know, a couple of observations, you know, it, it is a little different because I'm so used to the Oculus Touch controllers having the positional tracking in here, but I will say it tracks really well. I mean, it's like super, super responsive. Um, and it is one step closer to feature parity between PC VR and mobile VRs having track controllers. Now, obviously, it would be really cool if Samsung would have made the option and Oculus would have made the option to have two of them, uh, you know, so that you could use both of your hands in here. But I can see without the positional tracking that eh, that may not have flown too well. All right. But enough gabbing about all the tech stuff, man. We want to play some games. So, you know, I'm thinking for my first game, probably going to check out Dead and Buried just because I am familiar with the game on the Rift and, you know, kind of give me a comparison between the PC VR version and the mobile VR version. So, all right, let's check it out. Whoa, this looks really good. Oh, yeah, I am. Old Omen for a reason. You best now turn around and uh, keep on going. Go on, shoot. Oh, hell no. No, I'm coming in, bro. Unless, uh, are you handy with that pistol you got there? Uh-huh. you could help me out. Oh, Just I have a hand. Right, oh, cool. That's the ghouls and quick draw to listen. I'll let you stay at the local hotel and you just help me keep these baddies at bay. Think you can do that? Uh-huh. Sure. I have just one question. Can you even shoot that gun of yours? Go ahead. Pull that gun from your holster and show me what you got. All right, let's do it. Good. There's my gun. Nice. Man, I tell you what, this looks a lot like the Rift version. This is pretty freaking cool. All right, so let's see what the aim is like. Good, 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 good. Man, the aim is actually like really good. All right, so just like the Rift version and rotate it in and out. Um, oh, I'm still shooting. Oh, Looks like you're the real deal. Welcome to home. Come Damn on. straight, old timer. Shoot oh. Ah. Phew, that 
that's a quick trigger figure you got there. You're gonna need it if more of those ghouls keep ransacking the town. Heck, maybe I should just go ahead and make you sheriff of this town. What you think? Yeah, there's a new sheriff in town. All right, so a little quick tutorial there, and it looks like now I'm back to the controller model. It was interesting to see I had a hand in there. Um, you know, now, it, like I said, it was a little disconcerting after playing so much with the Oculus Touch that, you know, I had the hand, and I it, it was it kind of fixed in place. But, eh, you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's check out an actual level here. Uh, cool that they actually have the multiplayer in here. Now, for the purposes of the video, though, I'm going to go ahead and just play single player. Uh, multiplayer, people tend to want to talk to me, and the microphone gets sequestered by the recording software, so nobody can ever hear what I'm saying. <laughs> Man, this looks good. Okay, survive as long as I can. Let's do it. Where are you at? Where are you guys at? Oh, headshot! Headshot. Headshot. Yeah, man, the, the tracking on this and the accuracy of, is very good. As I say, I say that as I miss like several times. I got him. Oh, I died. All right. Well, 8100 on my first try with the new controller. I'm, you know, I'm going to call that a win. Um, definitely not anywhere close to anybody else on this leaderboard, but, you know, I'll get there. All right, there you have it. So first gameplay with the controller is down, and man, let me tell you, this has added so much to my Gear VR experience. So if you have a Gear VR and you haven't bought the controller yet, it's the best 40 bucks you're going to spend to enhance your virtual reality experience using your Gear VR. Um, you know, just the ability to point and shoot, it just made everything feel so much more natural. So I highly recommend grabbing one of these. All right, it's time for me to eat, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you did, you guys know that means the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, man, I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. You know, thanks for stopping by and checking out what I do here on Lunchtime with my Gear VR. If you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page, man. Take a look through my videos. You never know what you might find in there. A lot of great Gear VR and Oculus Rift content from several years of, of doing this on YouTube. And if you liked what you saw, smash that subscribe button down there. You know, come along with me the next time I do something cool in virtual reality. And if you've already smashed that subscribe button, I know I say it all the time, guys, but I truly mean this from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you for all you have done and are doing to help me grow this channel. We are in the downward slope towards 5,000 subscribers, and I owe that to each and every one of you guys. So keep doing what you're doing, man. Like it, tweet it, share it. You know, I always say it. Let's talk about it down in the comments. Love interacting with you guys. But for me, I got a burrito calling my name. This is a VR Gamer Dude. Signing off, y'all. Peace.